When you sell design services, there are a few things you need to think about. Your salespeople play a very important part. You won't be able to keep in touch with potential clients if you don't have a good sales plan. But how do you get the conversation started? You can make sales with cold calls and other methods. Some people, though, would rather not make touch this way. In fact, people who could have become clients for your business might turn away if you call them out of the blue. So, you need some strategies for marketing for architecture companies. Your marketing will get you in front of people who are interested in your business because of what you say about it. Marketing is less direct than sales, but it lets you build your brand and tell possible clients about it. There are a lot of different ways to sell architecture out there. The key is to put them all together into a single marketing plan. This is very important for new businesses. If you don't have a good marketing plan, you might not be able to cut into the market share that your rivals have. Companies that are already doing well need to keep selling themselves too if they want to keep doing well. So, where should you start? Here are 10 ways that architecture companies can market themselves. Plan 1. Use social media. Don't forget how important internet marketing is for architecture firms. If you use them right, those free social media pages can help you find new clients. The worst thing you can do is make a social media page and then do nothing with it. Any fans you get early on will leave and you won't be able to get any more. Instead, you need a full business plan for social media. You also need to think about the site itself. For example, LinkedIn is a social network for business people. So you should use it to meet people and show that you are an expert in the field. Pinterest, on the other hand, is a network for sharing pictures. It can be used to show pictures from your portfolio that might get people talking about you. If you use social media, you might have a leg up on your competitors. After all, many architecture companies don't use their social media accounts to their full potential. This leaves a hole in the market that you can use to build up your company's name and image. Strategy number two, figure out where you stand. People may talk about the four P's of marketing for builders. This structure shows the four most important things builders should think about when making their marketing plans. One of the P's is your place in the market. You need to be clear about who you are and what you can do for your clients. A quick look at the websites of some architecture companies will show you how not to use this P. Many businesses try to do many things at once. In order to get some clients, they will show every type of architecture there is. But this strategy gives the idea that the company might not be good. A jack of all trades is a master of none, is an old saying that says this. It works really well in this case. You should not do this. Set up your spot early on to do this. Tell possible clients what you do best and show them examples of your work. Yes, some clients might not need that service, but those who do will be more likely to choose your company over one that does a lot of different things because you have a strong marketplace. Strategy number three, use services that bring in leads. Lead generation services may be one of the older ways for architecture companies to market themselves, but they do work. In fact, a lot of people say that this is the fastest way to sell in the field. There are different ways to get leads. One of the most well-known is cold calls. A company will get information about tens of thousands of people. Using this information and the information you give about your business, they will call people to try to get them interested in your services. It is a straight marketing method that does work, but it can also turn people off if they don't want a phone call to interrupt them. Digital marketing is used by other companies that generate leads. They will make websites to promote your business. Most of the time, these sites have forms that the company uses to get information from visitors. If a guest enters their information, you get it, and you can treat it like a hot lead. After all, this person just asked about your business. Through lead generation efforts, you can quickly get in front of a lot of people, but you'll also need to be ready for a lot of leads that don't fit the bill. Strategy number four, put money into your portfolio of websites. When it comes to digital marketing, many architecture companies are behind the times. Their websites are just simple business cards to them. Instead of building the firm's brand on the site, they'll just give some general information. You shouldn't do this because digital marketing is a very powerful tool for architecture companies. Your website lets you show off your products in a way that few other marketing tools can. For instance, you can put all of your work samples on your website to draw clients. 
you might find that the quality of the photos in your portfolio is enough to bring in new business on its own. If you can make those images easy to share on social media, you'll be well on your way to making a great digital plan. Think about every word you send out through your website before you send it. Every piece of material needs to have a reason for being there. Clutter makes it hard to build a website well, which will turn people away. Don't forget that your website gives you the chance to share your story. Get both hands on it. Strategy number five. Start talking in front of people. Do people in your field know who you are? So what? Most likely, it's because you don't go out and build a name for yourself. Putting content online can help you build your company's name, but some clients will want to know that you are who you say you are. Public speaking could be a very important way to sell design services in this situation. When you talk in public, people have to listen to you. Everyone in the room will want to hear what you have to say. More importantly, as a speaker, you establish yourself as an expert. You become an authority when people listen to you more than to anyone else. Of course, your presentations need to back up that image. If you can't give a powerful message, it won't matter how well you speak in public. Make sure you practice for every meeting and that you always have a clear message to share. If you do it right, the number of people who listen to you will grow, giving your business more chances. Strategy 6. Practice your elevator pitch. Have you made a one-minute pitch for your business? This isn't the long sales pitch you might give to possible clients in a full conversation. Instead, your elevator pitch is a short summary of what your company does. It should be short, to the point, and catchy. Your pitch shouldn't take more than a minute, if possible. The point is that it is short. You should be able to say it anywhere without taking up too much of the listener's time. Find out what your company's value offering is. This is what makes your company stand out from the rest. Add this to your pitch, along with a small part of your story. Keep cutting it down until you have a pitch that shows what's best about your business. One of the best ways for an architecture company to market itself is to have a strong elevator pitch. Work on yours until you are short it will break the ice in any talk. Always keep in mind that the pitch should make the possible client want to know more. Strategy number seven, publish yourself. Getting published is the fastest way to make a name for yourself. Architects are lucky because they have a lot of choices. People in the business will take notice if you do studies and publish white papers. You might get new chances just because of how well you do your work. To get published, you have to do more than just study. Any room you get in newspapers and trade magazines is good for your marketing. All of this gives you a sense of being in charge. When you try to sell design services, people are more likely to listen if they think you know what you're talking about. One common way to get people to read your articles is to talk about something you can give them. For example, you might have a booklet with knowledge that is helpful. If your piece is good, people will want to keep reading. You should, of course, think about where your work will be released. If the wrong people read a great piece, it doesn't mean much. Do research on important publications and reach out to editors to increase your chances of getting published. Strategy number eight, get your newsletter out there. Let's talk again about how architecture companies can use digital marketing. You might have a great website that brings people to it, but how do you keep them interested? They might like what they see on your site, but they might need your help right away. If you don't keep that client interested, he or she might forget about you by the time he or she needs your services. Making a magazine could be helpful in this case. On your website, ask people if they would like to sign up for a weekly or monthly email. Most of the time, a simple form that asks for an email address is enough. Many people give something extra, like a free booklet, to get people to sign up. Once you have the user's email address, you can start sending out messages. This will keep you in the person's mind, and if they ever need design services, you'll be one of the first people they think of. Strategy 9. Don't throw out old leads. A lot of companies get rid of old leads that don't work out. It's a choice that makes sense. Why bother with old leads when you can follow up on new ones? That's true, but it doesn't take into account the situation. A tick might not have turned into a sale because the potential customer couldn't use your services at that time. All this means is that you were selling your architectural skills at the wrong time. Someone got in touch with you about your services. After talking about it, 
the client chose not to go through with it. There are many possible explanations for that. Instead of throwing away that client's information, you should think about whether it would be worth it to follow up later. Wait a few weeks and then send an email to the client asking if they are still interested in what you talked about. Some people will say no, so the answer is yes. Others, on the other hand, may now be able to move on. If you hadn't called them, you might never have had the chance to turn that lead into a client. Strategy number 10. Use the latest technology. How to sell building design is an idea that changes all the time. Five years ago, it was enough to use a digital design software package to make interesting models. There are new tools like virtual reality that we can use now. Also, there are new ways of doing things such as building information modeling. Keeping ahead of the competition is a key part of selling design services. Customers want to do business with companies that are up to date. Think of it this way. Your company is one of five that a possible client is hearing from. During their talks, the other four firms go over their portfolios and models. Then you go into the room with the VR equipment. You can use virtual reality to show the client your ideas instead of telling them what they are. Who do you think will make the biggest impression on the client? Getting your business out there will be easier if you use new tools. In fact, you will stand out from your competitors if you keep up with or even get ahead of the business.